Welcome back! Do I have to shout it every time? Yeah, every time now. Okay. Here is the hubs. Here is the FIFA. I'm in my domain. <laughs> We're off to... <clears throat> what are we doing today? We're going to Ikea. Because you need some drawers. My drawers broke. No, you broke your drawers. I didn't know. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> they took the face off of them. <laughs> It's made me sound like a raggy. I actually, um, they've been breaking for a while now. And then I just got fed up with trying to wrestle with them every time I go to find something to wear. So the front of the drawer was ripped off. It's really annoying because now I've been left without the faceless drawers. <laughs> right, so we're off to Ikea. Don't know what else we're going to be doing. Here is my OOTD. <laughs> just kidding. Do you not know what OOTD is? Outfit of the day. <gasps> Shut the front door! Let me just... Let Good me, from me. Stand up, let me see your OOTD. Very basic today. Right, we're going for 11 degrees hoodie. Yep. Hoodwar. Hoodwar. What else we got going on, Hubs? Will you stop walking away? Give me a 12. Give Black me a 12. Jeans. Black jeans. Grey top. Standard. And here we have a wild laney in her natural oh. state. <laughs> Just waiting for you to put your shoes on so we can get out. Uh, yeah, now they're on. Yeah, you'll, you'll pick the camera up now that he's ready. River Island jeans from last week <laughs> caused us a lot of fuss. Where's my top from? Can you remember? Uh, you got that from uh, Primark? No. You're right? Oh, yeah. It is from Primark. Where are my shoes from? Adidas. Adidas. Bought them in stars. JD. Where's Legend. my face from? Your mama. <laughs> We're off to Ikea. We're, we're, we're uh, we that out. Ikea is the equivalent of... It's Toys R Us for grown-ups! I was just about to say that, stop right, rubbing my words. It, you say it then. <laughs> it's like the most exciting place to go as a grown-up. But we're what's a bit sick of it. What's the Toys R Us thing? Uh, no, that's what we call it. No, it's um... There's a magical place where our no way there with DIY in their millions, all under one roof. It's called IKEA or IKEA. The wonderful every day. So, so the, Storm we, Derek, no? Dennis. Danik, Dennis. Storm Dennis the Menace. Storm Dennis. He's, he's out of I'm fourth, absolutely isn't sick of this. I'm utterly, I am sick. Just give me some spring. Just give me the spring. Do you know what the best thing about? Ikea is? Tell me. The meatballs. If you go to Ikea and you don't get the meatballs, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you. It's like they're right gravy. You is the don't best get dime. The dime cake. There's yeah. also something wrong with you. Yeah. Although, like, by the time you've had about 50 meatballs, you're not very hungry. So. No, we, I've had a big sandwich already today. Ben's had two. So. We probably shouldn't have the meatballs at Ikea. But we will have the meatballs at Ikea. I'm having the meatballs. <laughs> we'll probably go to Ikea, uh, to Primark so as well. I want to go. Probably go to Primark as well because you've got your gift card that I got you for your birthday. Yeah, but I might not spend it because I did recently go to Primark. And <clears throat> I started to get the spring stuff in, but I might, not, I might just wait until there's a bit more. But yeah, that's our plan. And we'll probably go to the gym later this evening. Yeah, I need to do some chest. I need to do some upper body, so I might just like focus on chest or back. Good but idea. But I've got a week off work now, so I'm going to try and hit up the gym. Just don't tell Ben. This is right. The, me going to the gym without Ben is like it's when you watch a bit more of a Netflix series without your partner. Yeah, it's a bit criminal at this point, isn't it? A couple of gyms together stays together. We've made it to Ikea, but we're hiding in a display toilet because it's so busy. It's too busy. Ben, don't leave me. I'll see you later. There's people everywhere. What do we do? <laughs> right, so we want to try and kind of remodel our bedroom because it's the one room that has had like the least amount of love put into it and it's a little bit of a mishmash. So. I really like, I don't like the colour, but I really like these like wide. So uh, we've got a super king size bed, 
We want to paint the white. We want to, I want layers and I want some textures and things like that. I think we're going to paint our bed white and then I want to get some kind of like cushions like this. Big puffy cushions. Yeah. But I really like this, um, if we do our bed white, we need some white bedside tables too. So we've got this as an option. Oh, we're just going to keep looking as well. Let us know what you think. I like that one. He likes that one. I found the boyfriend chair. It is the ultimate one. And I'm just going to leave her to it. There she is. She's gone. And that's me set for the next few hours. Right, so we've just been on the look as well. We've yeah. had a little look because we're at the shelves. We need new bedside tables. So, the shelves, shelves good, might good be... Substitute. There's a lot to choose from. But we're just thinking like simple white shelves. We can do anything with them. So we have come to the agreement that we want floating shelves as our bedside table as a substitute because it's just, think, just easier, isn't it? I think it'll be easier because we've got a cupboard um, so we don't have any, like a we don't have like a loft space No. Anything, so we have like cupboards because we're in the loft. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like our room on the floor so we've come to the decision that if we have floating shelves on the other side then we can um, still reach out some like storage spaces on the other side. Well, that's it. But <laughs> this room we're in one of these kitchens right now and this literally looks like a hangover. Like everything is everywhere and everything is just so bright and it's just cluttered. So it's literally like you're in a dark place when you've got a hangover and everything that's any sort of colour is just far too bright. And then, yeah. And then, and then your mind is just, I mean, come on, it's an absolute hole in here. Look going, at it, it's such a mess. Going back to the bedside table thing though, we thought of a Kallax, didn't we? Yeah, I think like a single Kallax, like attached to the wall, but we don't think we're going to open the cupboard. Yeah. Like we store things in, so... Big problems. We shall see. Improvise, adapt, overcome. Right, I've lost Lainey. Don't really know where she's gone, so... Oh, don't worry, I found her. She's just taking, <laughs> taking a nap. <laughs> this place is so weird, it just goes like Narnia. You're like, in a field and then bang! Lainey's fast asleep. Surprise! Right, uh, do you want to catch me up then? No. Do not trust my, my intuition to oh, get the correct things. I'm literally suffocating my vagina. This is what I was saying though. Oh yeah, the, wait, where are they? That's the Calax that we're looking at. Why does the Calax look so oh, much... It's, not, ah. it's called the Eket. Well, either way, that's like a smaller version of the Calax, so that's what we were trying to originally go for. But our bed's like up here, they're like a headboard. And then we've got a drawer or a cupboard. That's like literally there. there, so we wouldn't be able to get it open if we've mounted that to the wall. But I think a shelf's gonna work. I agree. I think we did good. I am loving me. Yeah. A bit of this. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. What do you think, there? It's a lovely mirror. Massive. And like, it goes all the way down the bottom. Yeah, we need, we want a big mirror like this in the house. There you go, Lainey. We'll just get mirrors on our wardrobe fixes two birds one stone you know like where the roof slants down yeah i want to put it there but i don't think it's going to work i agree Maybe two. Two. we should have to get fitted ones i think yeah like someone to come in and bespoke make them if we opt to go for that option one day one day okay so we just want to try and keep with our white theme so we're just looking at the drawers because you defaced yours i used to have the um these these ones, but the darker ones, and these are the ones that fell apart. They never were right. They never went right. So we're gonna have to have the same as Ben's. We're gonna get white, and then we're gonna paint Ben's white. And then we got matching. We got matching set. We're winning then. Right, we thought about getting food, didn't we? We wanted the meatballs. <laughs> I've been craving them ever since I mentioned them. And wow, that's the queue. The queue starts literally there, all the way there, all and then the way it goes the all the way around. All the way up to the queue in bit, and then you won't get any seats. <laughs> Got it. All the noobs. So, as well as everything else that we want to renovate, we also <laughs> want to re-renovate our bathroom. I just want to put. I just want a new bath mat. Ours is kind of a bit like. Yeah. A bit so, Lainey so. wants something fluffy like this, but pink. We'll try and find a pink, maybe if we can see if we can find one of them. So, yeah, we're on. We're on the lookout. It is anxiously busy in here. It is heaving. 
I'm hating how busy it is. Yeah, it's making it very difficult to uh, film anything because you just can't move. Why are people so inconsiderate? Unreal. I bet they want to come out when we do. Disappointing. Can you see? Disappointed in humanity at the minute. <laughs> Excuse me for a second. And hopefully that's better. You happy now? Yeah. Hopefully you can see it's better now. <laughs> your, H your HD? Oh no, can you see my wrinkles? Yes. All 21 years of them. <laughs> I am loving this bathroom. This is what's missing from our house. This is the dream. Hi! But, um, where's Hubbard? Wow! Yeah. <laughs> I'm just imagining myself showering under this. I was hoping you'd appear naked, just like. Whee. Oh, that's nice. Really cool. Wait, what's the what's the greenery all about? Got a bit of foliage going yeah, on. Why would you not want foliage in the shower? It makes it a bit more exciting. Who wants to shower in a bathroom? You can shower in a rainforest. I love that even the bath. Yep. <laughs> Isn't this bathroom really nice though? I would never think of like a sage green bathroom. Oh, I like the tiles too. Almost there. <laughs> it's cute. Mm, no. A, a oh. bathroom under the stairs, oh. I think this is meant to be. Harry Potter style <laughs> No, he lived in the cupboard, not the bathroom. I'm not sure what it is with Ikea, but they love the foliage <laughs> in the bath. I mean, they got his and a her shower, and then it's just exits on either side, and I'm but loving it. Can you imagine de lime scaling this? Oh, it's every cleaner's worst nightmare. Like every leaf would have to get de, de lime scaled when you're cleaning. Your bathroom. By the way, I'm not very happy with you at the minute, lady. Right? You've got me carrying around this big yellow bag <laughs> that's got one set of scissors in there. A set of scissors with a big bag, and I'm lugging it around. You never know when you might need a big bag. Livid. I think it fit in that bag. There's only one way to find out. There is. Hold, hold, hold my camera. Hold my camera. I love how Ben's doing this, like, out of the way. Right, you come on me, yeah. Let's see. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh no. I can't get you out of the bend. This is where I'm up on. I can't go for you. What are you doing? I see you. Hi. We're looking for mirrors. Yeah. Shock. I'm not sure where behind here. I don't mind this one, I just wish it was wider. Oh. There she is. So we have just waded through I think that took us like 45 minutes easily to get some. Sure yeah. So that big queue to try and uh, get to the food. We, 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 we did it. But. How delightful that looks. Are you happy? I'm so excited. I am too. We, we've we both got the same. Yeah, and then some salad Potato stuff. Salad. This is going to be so worth it. This is all I came to IKEA for, you know. It's all we, anyone ever comes to IKEA for? Whoever wants to come for furniture. Verdict. Yeah, it's like school dinners. Did you like your school dinners? Well, actually, I never had school dinners. My school never did them. What? My school ne you always had to bring a packed lunch. Right, so I was coming back from the toilet and I walked past a dad with a baby. I don't know how old this baby was, no more than like a year old. And as I walked, as I walked past, this baby's looked at me. So I pulled a funny face at it and this baby starts crying. <laughs> I made the baby cry. And the dad's looked at me. The dad's looked at me. With daggers. Did you, you apologise? And I genuinely, no, I just walked on. I was like, I've done the damage, and I genuinely thought it was going to get up and hit me. <laughs> Can you, like, I think he must have just got it to stop crying, and I must have just set it off again. Oh, and right. I, I've completely triggered the dad, I've triggered the baby, I'd, and I've just walked past. I'd have been chasing you. I'd have been chasing you, being like, you deal with this pain. <laughs> so. I'm not not much of a baby person, clearly. Don't get on with kids. <laughs> yeah, I work with them. <laughs> How ironic. Don't know why you're laughing, Lainey. If, if he got up to hit me, I would have been calling on you, <laughs> the, the Geordie Raggy, the Geordie Hulk, to come and fight my corner. 
Oh, what's your name? Bore me your nails. Yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not like a like a cat fighter. I was more of a like roll the punches and you know. KO. Roundhouse kicks. <laughs> Roundhouse. Right. So we've just been looking at some storage, some chest and stuff like that, and oh. 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 You look like you're fresh out of Chernobyl. <laughs> like, you know the hazmat suits that they wore on that? The, the lead ones because they couldn't, like, get radiation and stuff. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> what even is it? It's a tarpaulin court, of course. You look, you. You look waterproof as anything. Do you love it? Give us, a, give us a 12. Imagine nothing else. Bing. Yes, that's you it. Love it. I love it. Let's buy it. You're welcome. Put it in this empty bag of mine <laughs> that you've got me carrying around. See that's in it. I have never felt better, like. Another section in IKEA. Another plant. Oh, what we're God. thinking. Oh. Well, this is my kind of plant section because. Do you want to come back with I us to die? Everything. Do you want to come back with us to die? <laughs> it's fake. It doesn't mean anything, we'll still kill it. It will still I die. Actually, it surprised me heavier than I thought. How much is it though? Where would we put it? I don't know. We plants, should name it. Plants should stay outside, <laughs> in my opinion. Like, why bring plants in the house? We could have a big. What are these? Orchid. For it to come and die. It's dead already. Well, it doesn't matter. Like I said, it will still die. I managed to kill a cactus. Yeah, how did you kill? You'll have a cactus, a little one, and you don't even need to. There's no low no maintenance. You don't even need to water it, <laughs> and you killed it. Yeah, because well, I don't know how I killed it. I don't know what. Like I thought you didn't have to do anything with them. Well, clearly you do. <sighs> Got a poor track record with flowers. Oh, this is not. It smells anything like lavender. It smells like plastic. Mmm, plastic. <laughs> um, I have that I can't kill. Right, I've lost her again. She's gone walk about. Oh. Then. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing in there? I'm at one with nature. Mother nature. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Oh, do you know, I was really worried you were going to just keep walking and not come back. And then I was just going to be in here hiding for someone else to find me. Oh, that would have been even funnier. I just set the camera up somewhere for you to just pop out. <laughs> Surprise! Just to random her. Um, how much do you need? 40 quid. 40 quid for a fake plant? Yeah. Well, they can't die, can they? We, we, we still find a way. Wouldn't even worry. Here we go. She's left me! <laughs> What are you doing? All boxes. <laughs> we are far too much fun. Catch. Jump it. Oh. I'm sorry. Disappointing. It's like a skateboard. The boxes stop you. I've got, I've got it on my bit of paper, which is really poorly done. So we want FX. Floating shelf. Yeah, where's that? So we need aisle five, location one. Oh, so we're in aisle two, so we've got this all very wrong. Very wrong indeed. What a ball eight that was. We've just had, in the words of someone Ben knows, a mare. <laughs> An absolute horror show. So I we could cry we picked about up. It. We p I could literally. We have spent a disgusting Amount length of time. Of time in we got IKEA. we got here at about we got here at about what time do you reckon we got here? Uh, about twelve, half twelve, and it's now um, half past four. We spent a ridiculous amount of time in there, and I, then I never want to see IKEA ever again. Well, I mean, no, I mean, I still love, I still love you, IKEA. Bye, IKEA. <laughs> I hope it's a while before we come to, back. I'm just glad to see the back of you. <laughs> I think they're glad to see the back of us. That's, that was oh, what? so. We, we picked up some drawers that we liked. We, we went to the bargain corner because there's a bargain. 
We saw a big stack of drawers. I was really chuffed with these drawers because at the minute I've got three. You've got three drawers. And I wanted, I thought, right, this one's got two little ones at the top and it's got four big drawers. Big drawers. I thought, perfect. So we get it. We're like, yes, there's only a few little scuff marks. We thought we'll paint those out. And everything it was will be like glorious. Eight quid more than the brand new set that yeah. I was going to get. I was like, right, it's so, pre made. Yeah. We don't have to build it. The worst thing that we've got to do is get it up the stairs and get it up the second set of stairs. So we, we get to the car. We're all very happy with our little purchase. I've we thought we. Well, what? What have I missed? What about the bit where uh, I'm all like, are you sure? So this is gonna fit. <laughs> As a typical, typical guy, I've said it will fit. Don't worry, it will I fit. Him, I was gonna say four times. <laughs> Three times you asked me, uh, and I was like, it will fit. Don't worry about it. I've got this. Get to the car. <laughs> we, we folded down the back seats. We got rid of everything. Didn't fit. <laughs> So we're there, looking like an absolute comedy show. We were like, right, try putting it through this way, try putting it through that way. We tried through the doors, we tried through the front doors, the back doors, we tried through the boot. So yeah, now we've had to go for the flat pack version. <laughs> Can we just go home and have a nap? Yeah, let's do that. We've had our meatballs, so I'm very happy. <laughs> so it's a funny story about the meatballs. Lainey's like, I'll take 15. How many do you reckon you ate of those 50? Um, well, I gave you five and then I gave you three more. So you ate? Six. Six. <laughs> well, that's not good math. <laughs> Four. You ate seven. So yeah, that, that, that's been our trip to Ikea. It's been emotional. Very, yeah, we've, I've, I've, I've laughed, I've cried. <laughs> I've got sad, I've got angry. My car has got like three big scratches on it from trying to do that, you know. I would like to educate men on toilet etiquette. Toilet etiquette? Is that not how you would say it? Yeah, I'm just like, what? That's the most random thing. Right. <laughs> Every guy knows, you go into the guy's toilet, you've got the cubicles. All right, there is a photo here. So, you've got the cubicles, and then you've got the urinals. Now, everybody knows, you go you go to the urinal, and you always filter from the, from the outside inwards. You always go to the end ones, and you filter in or you miss a urinal. You never stand next to someone. But tell me why in Ikea, there's three or four urinals, I can't remember. I'm using one of them on the end. And some weird man came and stood next to me. He did not stand on the other end and filter in like I've just said. Wait, you mean like you skip a You, you skip, skip a urinal. urinal. So you're not next to someone, there's always a urinal block between you and the next person. That's so that your and don't get too close together. Oh no, so like, it, it's just bro code. Is it so that you don't accidentally look at another man's willy? You don't, yes, that's exactly why, Lainey. Is we'll it? just leave it with that. Okay. Tell me why this man came and stood right next to me. I think... Not I only that, not only did he come and stand next to me, he started a conversation. <gasps> no! He asked how my shopping trip was going. Now this concerned me, red flags were going mental. I said, yeah, good, thanks. Did my zipper up, quickly washed my hands and bolted. He was- Strange man. He was- Please, when, whoever, wherever you are, know the bro code. There is, there is just, it's just the guy thing. I need to educate the people. They need to know that this, this cannot stand. We cannot allow this to happen. You should have educated that man. You should have been like, Not dude, what you did, dude, why are you peeing so close to me? Like, dude, get out of my space. Do not start a conversation while I'm peeing. Don't make me talk. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Cubicles, like we say, they're fine. You go, you go in there, you do your thing. But away poos are not the one. You want to be at home for those. <laughs> Far more comfort. Away poos. Right. That's my bit of advice for Wait, the day. Wait, let's, let's touch on the away poo. Okay, what, what do you want to touch what, on? What's, what's an away poo? Right, so it's like an away game. You never do well in an, in an away game. It's more comfortable at home, you've got your familiar surroundings. <laughs> Makes for a far nicer poo. <laughs> All right, as simple as that. Do not, if the door is locked, start banging on the door, rattling the door to see if it's open. That, that triggers a panic attack for the person going for a poo. <laughs> I'm telling you, they have a mild panic attack and they think they're being rushed by you. <laughs> the, the world doesn't revolve around you. It does not, simply doesn't, all right? Just wait. There is so many rules to the toilet, it's unreal, but everyone should know, you just, you just should. And I shouldn't be, this shouldn't be the first you're hearing of this either. And if it is, 
there's something wrong. <laughs> Anything to touch base on? I think it's... What about the women's toilet? Anything you want to touch base on there? Nah, we're all so polite. That's me done. Ran over. That's taken now, almost from the kings to our house. Now, you are better educated on how to use the toilet. There should be no... This is, this is, I feel like this is a nationwide pandemic. I was triggered by that man Talk talking to, to me in the, and, and the urinal and I'm, no, I can't get over it. Make sure to let us know what your opinion on this whole toilet matter is. Do you, do you agree with me? Do you think I'm in the wrong for saying this? Like what, 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 where do you stand on it? All right, what is let your us know. opinion on men's toilet etiquette? We'd love to know. I let us... you would. I'm like, it makes no difference to me. It, it really does me because like I say, this is a nationwide problem and well, this is a worldwide problem, a universal wide problem. We need to we need to get the word out there that this is not okay. We need to start a campaign. Have you ever been to Stamford Bridge at half time trying to get into the toilet? Can't say I ever have. Half time, ever, second ever half, been, second half been ended. Have James's Park? Uh, you yeah, have actually, so. I have actually, yeah. It was, it was a tub. It was a tub. No, it wasn't. It was. How, how dare you? You freaking loved it. I'm going to insert pictures of Ben enjoying <laughs> his time at St. James's Park right now. I didn't enjoy it. He I did. put on a smile for you. No, I did, did that for you. Genuine. Lainey. Yeah? You know those scissors that you made me uh, carry around Ikea all day in that big yellow bag? How am I supposed to? How am I supposed to undo him? <laughs> I need the scissors that are tied up to undo the scissors that are tied up. <laughs> look, look. What am I oh, going to no. do? Right, I know. What do I do? All day, I was carrying these bad boys around, and you need come with the solution. Ah, perfect. Hold the camera. Hold my camera. <laughs> The bread knife. You no, you know how to use like a saw. Oh, oh the house gonna... is such a mess. Please excuse the state of the house. <laughs> oh god, I can see myself slicing my finger. Oh my god, you're actually sawing it. Oh no, I can't look. Wait, I'm almost. Yes. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> right, what are we up to now, Lainey? We're going to the gym, aren't we? Yeah. I don't want we probably, to, I don't want to go to the gym no, now. No, we probably won't post it or no. put it in this vlog, but if you keep it on our Instagram, pop up right now, <laughs> alright, go and check it out. We've got quite a lot of workouts on there, haven't we, Lainey? Thank you. And we post on there daily, like twice a day. So it is very active over there. Make sure you go check that out. It is a very good time. We got back from the gym a little while ago. We've had tea. We've got changed. Did you call it tea? Yeah, we, we had tea. Tea. <laughs> um, yeah, so Lainey's just finishing her day off with a bit of tarot. I always like to do a little bit of Sunday tarot. Just ask the universe <clears throat> about what's going to happen. Do a bit of manifestation, a bit of gratitude. You just know. to just to be happy. Yeah. Right. So that's it from us today. Hopefully, you enjoyed what we got up to. We got up to a lot of exciting things, didn't we? Well, it was just a busy Sunday. It was very busy. But if you like what you saw, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Standard stuff. And big, big red button down below. Make sure to hit it to subscribe to keep up with us. <coughs> so make sure to like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.